Well, Nicole Lappin has been a CNN and CNBC TV journalist, also the money columnist for Red Book, a best-selling author, and about half an hour or an hour and a half or so, she's going to be the keynote speaker at Business First's event for women in business. I hope I get to meet her. I'll she sounds what, impressive. Her plane got into Louisville less than an hour ago, and she's already here. Surprise! Oh, she Surprise. is here. There she is right there. Oh, my goodness. Uh, she knows her nice way here. around Kentucky. Indeed. Before Nicole worked at the cable network, she worked at a TV affiliate in Lexington. She writes about taking control of your money and career, although she says she didn't grow up in a family where business was discussed at this dinner table. She later learned it and learned how to become the Rosetta Stone of it for her readers. Her second book has just been released, and she's uh, we're going to get her advice now. Nicole Lappin, hey just catch your breath and welcome in. That was and the I'm, most amazing intro. I'm well, coming here every day. And I'm day. flashing this because we've got the B word here, but you say that is a word we should not shy away from it's as a, women. Absolutely. We should take Explain, it back. Because it's usually it. derogatory. And it was to me. And people called me that in a derogatory sense throughout my career. But what they meant was that I was strong, aggressive, ambitious. So own it in a good way. Own it in a great way. Not only did I want a seat at the table, you know, women say that a lot, but I wanted a voice at the table. So if that meant I was a B-word. Seat's not enough. Right. It's not voice. enough. You want a loud voice, too. Then I take that back and I own it along with a lot of amazing women who have endorsed the book. Sarah Blakely, the founder of Spanx, of which I am also a customer. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, the Me founder too. of Baby Einstein. <laughs> They're all man Spanx, I'm just saying. He knows all about this. <laughs> you know, one other thing that we want to do, I was looking up yeah. some different things, and you say you need a brand, you need to be authentic, and one thing that I thought was really empowering, instead of saying I'm sorry, which I think women do a lot, you said say thank you. Absolutely. Explain that. Rachel, it's crazy. Women in particular say I'm sorry so much. I counted how many times I said I'm sorry during a day. It was more than 50. Why do we do that? I know. When somebody bumps into us, I'm sorry. When we take two Instead, hours. It was your fault. <laughs> Do I say that? <laughs> when no, it takes two hours to respond to email, I'm sorry. Why are we sorry? Men will apologize, studies have shown, but they'll only apologize when they actually do something wrong. And then when we get a compliment, so like, compliment my you hair. You look lovely. Your hair looks great. <laughs> sometimes women say, oh, it's a dry shampoo. You know, I haven't washed Instead it. Instead of just going. Hair, thank you. And move on because it puts us in a position of weakness and where we should we be coming from as a place. And I don't know why. Talk like a boss. Yeah. Can I, can I bring step. in a friend of yours over here? Oh my here, God, email? I'm so excited. <laughs> Did you yeah. know that this guy works here? <laughs> I, I just saw him and it was an amazing reunion. Hello. Hello, darling. I'm missing him in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Explain that. Okay, explain. Your first job was in Lexington. Uh, yes, off Man of War at the station there. WKYT. Never forget. Yep. Um, and this guy was so great to me. I will never, ever forget his <laughs> kindness. He's a rat to us. I am <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, um, he's a great guy, we love him. And he looks the same. He, he looks the same look the as same. he did 15 years ago. Well, so do you, and you're More just being handsome. kind. You're being very nice. Wait, if there was a bottom, we're going to get to your face. Just it's, it's, it's it's but I want to know if there's one piece of advice for women who might be watching now, what would it be? What would be your yeah. one thing if there was one piece? So negotiate. You can negotiate everything. You can negotiate your medical debt. You can negotiate. It drives me crazy when we don't negotiate the APR on our credit card. Hello, that's negotiable too. We just think too. it's a given. You're Absolutely. saying no. Absolutely. And it, just because it comes on a fancy paper from the bank, Everything is negotiable. Your cell phone bill, your salary. 57% of men will negotiate their salary. Rachel, how many percent of women do you think that is? You know what? I learned the hard way, and I don't know. I'm going to say 35? Seven. Oh, my Whoa. God. Seven percent. This is bananas, ladies. We have to take control of our money. It's our money. We might as well fight for it. You know, some of the tips I give for that is thinking about your overall compensation package. So maybe it's not a bump in salary, but maybe you go to your employer and you say, hey, I want to work from home on a Friday, which could be more valuable to you than an actual bump in base salary. Or I want my cell phone bill paid for or transportation costs or more vacation time. All of that contributes Think about to all those things. Package. I will say I run through the newsroom now and say, you need to run for office. You need to run for office. <laughs> you need to run for office. That's, that's my new mantra on everything, right? Go, girl. Well, no, I mean. Th this does not surprise me about her at all because I, all those years ago. You knew? Completely. Oh, this is what me? was it? What? What? Tenacious? Oh my God. What? Yeah, tenacious. I'm she was, uh, you know, and again, it was a program where she was at Northwestern, and literally the interns came and worked as reporters on the air, and she was tenacious and on it and just great. I'll pay I you love later. that. Nicole, no, I'll pay you later.
That's no, what you say, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enough, right there. <laughs> Today's business first event is sold out, but you can learn more about Nicole and her books on her website, NicoleLappin.com. And don't call her. Well, yeah, actually, don't have it. Own it. Own it. Own it, Own it honor, baby. baby. <laughs> we'll be right back. Too much fun. It should be illegal. <laughs>